Hello everybody and welcome to the Ultimate PLL Recognition Guide. In this tutorial we're going to go through all 21 PLL cases and learn how to recognize it. First we're going to learn how to recognize each case by looking at the entire top layer and then in some cases we'll learn how to recognize it just by looking at two sides of the puzzle. Up top here you can see we have A through Z permutation and everything in between. You can click on those links at any point in time to go further or back in the video to quickly reference anyone that you want or if you're a mobile watcher you can just watch the entire thing. So with that said let's get on with the A permutations. Now with the A permutations what you will have on the top layer is you'll have a one by two block that is solved in a corner. It might not be permuted properly but you'll see that it is still solved and then you'll also have beside those two single pieces that are the same color. Don't get this confused with the V permutation which also has a one by two block but it has different colors. So on an A permutation it's a one by two block with two same colors. That is the only algorithm that has this. So if you happen to finish your OLL and you see this you know it's an A permutation. It also has a set of headlights. The headlights can be either here or here. And an easy way to tell is if you look at the cube like this, so this block is on the left, and you see that these two colors that are the same are opposite, or sorry, are on this side close to you, so this orange is opposite red, so the orange is not opposite blue, so we don't pay attention to that. The headlights will always be on the opposite side of this. So if, this, if these were green, and this is blue, and the green was here, like on this one, we can see that there is um, orange, so the opposites are on this side, you can see the headlights are here. That's how you recognize an A-perm from this side. On this side, you can see that if we have the headlights poking out this way, the middle piece on this side is the same color as these headlights. The piece next to it will be the opposite color of this, and these two pieces here will be opposites as well. You can see on the other A permutation, the headlights are coming out this way, and you can see that the middle piece on this side is the same color as the headlight, so it's kind of checkered, but just with the blue. You can see that the piece next to this is opposite of blue, and these two here are opposites as well. And that is how to recognize the A permutations. Next, we're going to take a look at the E permutation, and this one I think is by far the easiest one to recognize, and that's because if you look around the cube, you'll see that on the sides, there are no 1 by 2 or 1 by 3 blocks that are solved, no corners that are solved, and there are no headlights anywhere on the puzzle. This is the only permutation that has this. So no matter what, no matter how it is, you can quickly scan around the cube and you can see um, that there it's an E permutation. It's very, very simple. And what an E permutation does is it swaps corners. This one for this one and this one for this one. And it doesn't do anything to the edges. As you can see, the edges are already in place. But a lot of the time when you're done your OLL, they won't be in place. And you'll see that this corner will look solved and so will this one. Or in this case, this one and this one. But again, if you don't see any headlights, you know it's an E permutation or no one by two blocks or one by three blocks. Now there is a way to recognize this just by looking at three sides. I'm sure there is by two sides, but I don't quite have that yet. Um, so what I'm going to do is tell you how I do it. Now I never scan the whole thing. You can quickly scan the whole thing and see that there's no headlights or blocks and know it's an E permutation. But um, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult. And the way I do it is I always look at this side and then this side. And what I'm looking at is this piece here and this piece here. If they're the same color, it's an E permutation. So from here it's orange and orange. From here it's green and green. From here it's red and red and then blue and blue. And the only other permutation that might have any similarities to this is the F permutation where we have the full block on the end but we'll get to that. Now you can see that on F permutation this one is different than this. This is blue, this one's green. So if I ever think it's an E permutation when I'm done my OLL because I looked into my PLL um, all I have to do is quickly look at these and I know if it's an F or an E. And that's how you recognize an E permutation. Next we're going to take a look at the F permutation. This one's very, very easy to recognize as well. You'll see that we have a full 1 by 3 bar here. The only other algorithms that have this 1 by 3 bar are J permutations, but we'll get to those. But you can recognize this from a J permutation because there's no 1 by 2 block. A J will have a, a full J solved either here or here. But if you don't see it, this is attached to this. If this isn't green or this isn't blue, um, then you know it is an F permutation. And of course, all of these look out. Now, 
as with the E permutation that we just went through, they can look very similar from this point of view. I'm going to go through it again just in case you didn't watch the E permutation. Now, on an E permutation, you can see that nothing looks in. And same with an F permutation. Nothing looks in. But on an F permutation, from looking at these three sides, you can see that these two pieces here are opposite colors. This is blue, or this is blue, and this is green. On an E permutation, these are the same. This is red, this is red, this is green, this is green. So you can see that from looking at this point of view, you can tell it's an F permutation, and this just happens to be the way that you would hold it to perform the algorithm, so that would work out for you. Now, if you want to recognize this from different sides, of course, if you look at it from this side, you can always tell if this is an F permutation because this corner color will be opposite of this. So this is orange, these are red. This is, this is orange here, these are red. If you want to look at it from this position, you can see that these two colors are the same and these are checkerboard, right? Blue, orange, blue, orange, and then green. Same with over here, these are blue now. Orange, green, orange, green. Now that you know how to recognize it from this side and from this side, don't get it confused with the V permutation. And a V permutation will also have the checkerboard, except for these two colors here are going to be different. So these are different colors, whereas on an F permutation, these are the same color. Whoop. These are the same colors. And that's how we recognize the F permutation. Next, we're going to take a look at the G permutations, and there's four different G permutations, and I only know one way to recognize these. I can't recognize them by two sides, so we're going to skip that part, but I will tell you how to recognize all four of them. It's very simple. First, you're going to have a set of headlights somewhere on the puzzle, and in the back here, you're going to have a one by two block. In this case, it's right here. So if you put the, uh, if you put the cube so the headlights are on the left, you can see that the one by two block is in the back here. Another position that they can be in is this one right here. And another position are these two here. And the last position is right in front of you right here. But your headlights will always be on the left. So if you can take a look and you put the headlights on the left, you can tell it's a G permutation. Now the G permutation is the only algorithm that has headlights that stand alone without anything else. So like for instance, uh, another one would be like a T or an R permutation will have headlights, but it will also be connected with like another blue or on this side it would be another green. So these are the only ones that have the headlights that are put together without anything else and a one by two block as well. There are some, there is another one that has headlights that stand alone, but it doesn't have a one by two block. And that's the easy way to recognize G permutations. Just headlights in a one by two block in this, 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 or that position. And that's all I know about recognition for the G permutations. The next one we're gonna take a look at is the H permutation. And this one is very easy. As you can see, it seems pretty obvious already. All the corners are in place. And you can see that there are headlights on every single side of the puzzle. And in between the headlights is the opposite color. So green is opposite blue red is opposite orange and so on around the puzzle. A lot of the time when you're done your uh, OLL, you'll have it turned like this and you'll see that there's still headlights everywhere and there's still the opposite color in between them. So it's still very, very easy. And the algorithm for this can be performed at any angle. So it doesn't really matter. So that's how you recognize an H permutation. Very, very easy. Next, we'll be taking a look at the J permutations. And in the J permutation, it's pretty easy to recognize. You'll see that you have this huge solved piece here. It doesn't matter if it's you know solved oriented with everything else or if it's over here, but you'll see that we've got this huge one by three block plus another piece connected, which kind of makes a J, and that's why it's called a J permutation. There's another one here. You can see that we have a one by three block plus this one. This is the other J permutation. And in both of these, you'll see that we've got this huge one here plus this one, and then we have two one by two blocks. And you can also recognize this by this angle here because you can see we've got a one by two block and a one by two block and the single piece. If the single piece is the same color as these here, you know that it is a J permutation. Don't get it confused with an N permutation because an N permutation will also have a one by two block and a one by two block and a single piece, but the single piece will not be the same color as these. And that's an N permutation. So J permutations are very, very easy to recognize. As you can see, we've got the other one here, one by two block, or sorry, one by three with an extra piece making the backwards J this time, and in these two one by two blocks. These are the only algorithms that have this full side done plus another piece. The only one else that has a full side done is the F permutation, but it doesn't have this piece attached to it. And that is the J permutations. 
Next, we're gonna take a look at the end permutations. And these ones are pretty easy too, because no matter how you look at it from any angle, you're gonna see that we have a one by two block, another one by two block, and then a single piece. From this one, one by two, one by two, single piece, all the way around, you can see this. And on this one, when the one by two block is on this side, because there's two different end permutations, on one of them, the one by two block, if you're looking at it in front, is on the left, and the other one, it's on the right. And you can see that on both of them, the single piece is opposite color of the rest of the cube. So this is blue opposite of everything. And this is red opposite of everything. And you can see that on each side, right? So we've got this is opposite. So it's very, very easy to recognize these. And these can also be performed at any single angle, just like the uh, H permutation can. They're very, very easy to recognize. And the only other algorithm that shares any resemblance to this is the J permutations. And don't go and confuse them. You'll see on this one, we'll have a one by two block and a one by two block and the single color is not the same color as this corner over here. Whereas on a J permutation, this is the same color. So don't get that confused. The N permutations are very easy to recognize. The next permutations we're gonna take a look at are the R permutations. And you'll recognize these because you'll see a set of headlights in a one by two block that is attached to them either on the right or the left side. In this case, it's on the right side. There's another R permutation where the uh, two by one block is attached on the left side. And you can recognize that easily just by that. It's very simple to spot this one. And the way that you can recognize it just from this angle is you can see that we have the headlights and the one by two block now this color here and this color here are different, green and orange. Don't get this confused with a T permutation where it's the same thing, a set of headlights with a one by two block, but these two colors are the same. The same goes on the other R permutation. We can see the two by one block is on the other side and these colors are different. Whereas on the T permutation, we've got a one by two block with headlights and these two colors are the same. So we know how to recognize it from this angle. What about this angle? Well, here you can see that we basically got a checkerboard happening, except for this one right here. We've got the um, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, and then green. Don't get this confused with other permutations that we've gone through that already have the checkerboard pattern. That is how you recognize our permutations. They're pretty easy. So the next algorithm we're gonna take a look at is the T permutation. And you can see that it's similar to the R permutation where we have a set of headlights and a one by two block but it's also got the one by two block on the other side. It's very easy to recognize this by looking at those two one by two blocks. Um, from this angle, you can see that we've, you can recognize this one by two block with the headlights and these colors are exactly the same. Don't get this confused with an R permutation where we've got this, but these colors are different. A T permutation will always have these two the same and the same with this side, you can see these are the same. You can also recognize it from this side. So if you have the T permutation and you look at it from this side after your OLL, you can see that these have a two by one block and you have this as the same color as this two by one block and they're opposite color right here and these two are opposite colors. On this side, you can see we have the two by one block. This is the same color. We have its opposite color here and these two are the same color as well. So the T permutation is pretty easy to recognize. Next, we're gonna take a look at the U permutations. And this one's pretty easy. As you can see, we've got headlights here, headlights here, headlights here, and then a full bar in the back. Don't confuse this with the H or the Z permutations. You can see that we have a full bar in the back, whereas those H and Z permutations, all of the um, middle pieces need to be swapped around. There are two U permutations, and you can tell the difference between them because one of them, um, the pieces need to go counterclockwise. This needs to go here, this needs to go here, and this needs to go here. And the other one goes clockwise. Red goes to here, blue goes to here, and green goes to here. And you can tell the difference between them really quickly if you just glance them like this, because you can see that blue is opposite these colors, whereas red is not opposite these colors. And on the other one, you can see that the opposite colors are on the left this time and not on the right. So the U permutations are very, very easy to recognize. It's super simple just by scanning the cube really quick. That's all I do. I don't really bother to recognize it from these sides, but you can. I mean, if you wanted to you know, recognize it from these sides, you can see that if you look at it from this side and this side, that these here are gonna have headlights. So you can have a full bar and then headlights on this side and this side. So the U permutations are pretty easy to recognize.
Next, we're going to take a look at the V permutation. And the V permutation is close and similar to the A permutation when viewed from this angle. If you remember in the A permutation, we've got this two by one block, which is what we have in the V permutation. And we've got these two single colors here. In the V permutation, these colors are different. Whereas the A permutation, these colors are the same. And that's the big difference. So don't confuse them. The hard part of the recognition comes from the other side because it's so similar to some other ones. You'll see that we've got a checkerboard in the middle. We've got red, green, red, green, and then these two colors here are different than here. You can see that these headlights here are opposite colors. This is uh, blue and green, and this one is uh, orange and red. Don't confuse this with the R permutation, which also has checkerboard, but you'll see in the R permutation, the checkerboard continues all the way to the end right? Blue, red, blue, red, blue. Another one that also has a checkerboard permutation is the F permutation. Except for this one, you can see that it's got a checkerboard and these colors are the same. Whereas this one is not and neither is the other one. Now realistically, when I'm done my OLL and I happen to come here, I don't recognize it really quick because of the similarities to the other ones. I'm sure with time I will. Um, but the, the, reason, the way that I actually recognize this one is to scan the entire cube and see that we've got the two by one block and these two colors here. And that's how I recognize a V permutation. The next permutation we're gonna take a look at is the Y permutation. And this one is very easy to recognize. As you can see, we've got a two by one block and then a two by one block here. And there's a single piece in the middle that needs to get moved out of there. And that's very easy to recognize because this is the only case that will have a two by one block and a two by one block with a corner that needs switching between them. If you want to look at this from other sides, if you go to this side, this is pretty easy to recognize as well because you can see that these two here, this piece and this piece are opposite colors, orange and red. These are opposite colors, blue and green. And then you can see that the middle piece here is the corner piece here, blue and blue. And this piece here is the corner piece here, orange and orange. So you can recognize the opposite headlights, I would call those. And if you look at it from this angle, you can see that you've still got opposite headlights, but now you've got a two by one block and then two of the same color, which are opposite of this one. I know that's a bit confusing, but don't worry, with practice you'll get it. And same with the other side here. We have the opposite headlights with a one by two block, and then these two pieces here that are the same color, which are both opposite of this color. And that's the Y permutation. Realistically, the way I recognize this is by these two one by two blocks. Um, sometimes I'm able to recognize it by these other sides, but not very often yet. So the last one we're gonna take a look at is the Z permutation. And this one's pretty easy to recognize. As you can see, all of the colors or all the corners are done with, they have headlights on every single side, sort of like the H permutation. Uh, another one that has this is the U permutation. It has headlights all over the place, except for um, one side is completely done. As you can see on a U permutation, we've got one side completely finished. Now, you, this is really easy to recognize from this angle because you can see that this is all opposite colors. I mean, like this belongs here and this belongs here. So it's, you know, it's pretty symmetrical. And on this side, you can see the same thing. Very easy to spot. Now on this side, you can get this confused with a U permutation because on the, if you look at it like this, you can see that the colors are pretty mixed up. However, on a U permutation, one of these colors is always gonna match one of the sides. So like this matches the red side or um, this matches the blue side. But if you look at this, you can see we have all four colors besides the uh, you know yellow and white. We have red, green, blue, and orange. Same with the other side. We've got all four colors. And that's how you can recognize a Z permutation. So I really hope that this PLL guide has helped you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.